So this is kind of a color reading that I did um, on a day where I'm like, okay, well, I don't have any particular issues that I'm dealing with. So let me just see if there's a color that just comes up for today that I can look at and work with and maybe focus on for myself. And this color came up for me um, personally, and it was just the most amazing point um, that is really important to realize for me but I know that so many people are going to be able to relate to this <sighs> like later <laughs> I mean especially if you relate to issues like you know issues around self-acceptance issues around experiencing um, social anxiety uh, feeling like you can't be yourself issues around fitting in um, very often like feeling rejected, abandoned, alone, things like that, um, which is points that I've walked extensively in my life. Walked meaning like have had to seriously support myself to overcome and transcend and change and correct. Um, and this color that tested out or that came up, I say tested out because that's how I um, do color readings, but that's for another video. So this color was actually touching on a point that, you know, it's been a long time coming and it's always been there, but this is the first time that I'm really seeing it and that I'm sort of permitting and allowing myself to see it, if that makes sense. You know, sometimes you're just kind of ready to see certain things. And this time is one of them. And so, I guess long story short, this color is about, um, I mean, basically just seeing and recognizing the real you. And I know that sounds very sort of cliche and, I don't know, generalized statement, but... Yeah, it's like there is a, you know, for me, because of the life that I've walked and the issues around self-acceptance, there is a real me, so to speak, that I've always been hiding in the shadows of myself. Like there is a, there's literally almost like a, a light me and a shadow me. And the light me is the me that's always been trying to fit in with, let's call it society, you know, the, the me that uh, tries to be positive and good. But then there's the shadow me, which is the actual real me. And it's always lived in the shadow because I've just always believed that I cannot accept this real me. Because it's not necessarily positive.